Boom Supersonic aims to bring back supersonic travel as the name suggests by the closing point of this decade with its overture, which has seen a recently severely altered design. A design that now features four engines instead of the previous three. One of the biggest questions surrounding the aircraft was that of who would actually make the engines. In what is being described as a significant announcement for the company, they've announced that they're moving forward with a new propulsion system, which can be best described as being both optimized and also designed solely for the overture. Named Symphony, it'll see Boom enter into partnership with Florida Turbine Technologies, which will be responsible for the design of the engine, a branching of GE for added technology, and additional design consulting. Meanwhile, finally, Standard Aero will be responsible for the maintenance of the engine. Symphony is quite the name, and it will be fully optimized with sustainable aviation fuel, one of the biggest focuses for the company with their overture and selling points. This engine will be a single stage fan designed for quiet operations. A twin spool medium bypass turbofan engine with no afterburner. They also mention that the certification will see them comply with the Federal Aviation Administration and the EASA, Europe's governing aviation body, requirements that are put in place. Certification being one of the most also important talking points surrounding such an aircraft, given the difficulties experienced with both Airbus and Boeing's own upcoming jets to leading manufacturers, one can only imagine some of the issues that may be encountered with such an unproven company, with technology that equally presents challenges in itself. The CEO of Boom and also the founder Blake Scholl said that developing a supersonic engine specifically for Overture offers the best value proposition for our customers. Through the Symphony program, we can provide our customers with an economically and environmentally sustainable supersonic aeroplane, a combination unattainable with the current constraints of derivative engines and industry norms. Boom Supersonic has, one could argue, the most skeptics across the industry. Their timeline is incredibly tight, and the XB-1 demonstrator, which is critical to the production of the Overture is yet to fly. Interestingly enough, from all of this, even with the announcement of the Symphony, the XB-1 demonstrator continues to be a miss. Each year, there are comments made that it will fly for that respective calendar year. Then, however, it ends to no avail. For those that were curious, the XB-1 was meant to initially fly in 2017. Now 2022, as we rapidly approach the new year, that will not occur again. To believe their overture will fly with passengers by 2029 seems ludicrous. While raising a staggering amount of money as a company, Unless, as ushered by many, they want to continue losing money day in, day out, the bargain will have to end at some point. And while I think myself and many others would love to be proven wrong, the end result does not look entirely promising. Even with today's announcement, the skeptics remain significant, and somehow we are left with more questions than answers, which ideally should not be the case. However, for such a project, it's However, for such a project it seemingly is, it's one of the contributing factors as to why Delta, a major US airline, is yet to invest in the program, with the CEO Ed Bastian saying that until his questions are answered, he would not commit to the overture like his counterparts of American and United. And those questions are yet to be answered. What are your thoughts on the significant engine announcement with Symphony being revealed, as well as the strategic partnerships with multiple other companies to hopefully develop this engine? You can let me know down below in the comments. I hope you have been enjoying the frequent aviation coverage. Do take care, and I will indeed see you next time.